Welcome back to the garage for part two of the Roadrunner 426 Hemi. Uh, today we're going to try and knock this baby out. Um, so let's jump right on this bad boy and uh, freaking get it knocked out. Uh, let's go ahead and throw the rear suspension on. And... Uh, Dang it, I think I need a fuel tank, guys. Forgot to buy a fuel tank, I think. Uh, but let's get this rear end on and uh, start buttoning all this stuff up. Dang it, we need shocks, too. <laughs> well, we got a little bit of work to do ahead of us, but we're going to try and knock this out quickly. Come on, bang it. Uh, let's get this leaf spring stuff on. Sometimes I forget to put the U-bolts on. <laughs> and that sucks. Especially after the car's, like, built. Alright, we got that stuff on. Let's get this on and get the brakes together a little bit here. I might need to buy some drums, because don't think I have any uh, brake drums on hand. Pretty sure I don't. Oh no, I do. Ha! Ah! Sweet. Alright, so let's move over to the other side. And then I'll have to get a few things here. Do do yeah this uh this build's been going really smooth. I've I've been happy doing this one. It's uh it's just been a nice smooth build. I don't know, nothing's really gone wrong yet, so pretty pleased with that. Uh we gotta change this uh I gotta grab a couple parts. Alright, let's get this axle knuckle on here. And uh, we got this uh, shocks. Got to get the shocks on. Let's go ahead and put the other one on because I didn't have them. Slap that baby in there. And then uh, we'll finish putting this wheel hub backing plate on. Get the brakes assembled here. Axle. Brake shoes. And drum. Okay, the back's ready for wheels. Dang, look at that. Done. Uh, this, I think, took... Yeah, oh, yeah, see, it's bad. So I need to get a cross member. Um, dang it. All right, let's get this cross member in here. And let's get all the bushings put in. Slap all this stuff together. Dang it, the exhaust pipe is always in the freaking way. There we go, there we go. Alright, rack and pinion. And sway bar. Tie rod ends. I was going to say, I better have tie rods. We got the knuckles. Let's get this arm on here. Yeah, I mean, this has been a smooth build. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but dang, I mean, I haven't really had any problems yet, so I'm digging that. I'm digging that. I'm just curious to see how much power we can make with this Hemi after we're done with it. I mean, I hope it's a lot. <laughs> Alright, let's get this bearing, hub cover, and shoot, I think I need rotors. No, I got brakes? Holy crap. Pads? Good. I think I got calipers. Man, I just almost got, see that's what I'm saying, man, it's just going smooth. I know I need, I need to get these shocks going, the struts. Uh, well, let's move to the other side, slap all this together. I need a couple of things, but... Now 
And whoever buys this car is going to have a nice car. You know what? I think I forgot to put the sway bar in link on the other side. Did I? Yeah, I did. Crap. Oh, well. We'll go back and put it on. Oh, yeah. I need tie rod. Alright, I gotta get a, I gotta get a couple of things. Oh god, I'm running out of stuff. Alright, hold on. Alright, let's get this tie rod on. We got this done now. And then uh, we got this. Let's get this on there. Front wheel hub. Let's press that bearing up in there real quick. Bam. Brakes. We got it. You, we, we getting it done. We getting it done pretty quick. Brakes are assembled. Uh, I think all we got to do now is do the stupid struts. And we should be good to go. So yeah, struts. And I think I forgot the sway bar. Yep. Let's get that in there. Alright, so just struts. So we can go over the strut compressor here. Uh, double wishbone shock absorber for the front. But yeah, I'm digging this restoration stuff, man. It's quite a bit of fun for me. Um, and that's kind of why I bought this game, was just to, to build cars, you know, and mess around. And so, so far it's been pretty fun. I'm enjoying it. Alright, let's get these shocks in here, or struts in here. Looking super fresh up in this bitch. Cool. Uh, there we go. Now we just gotta work on some wheels and tires. I don't know, I haven't really... I haven't really worked that out yet. It's one thing I gotta do, I guess. Alright, so everything is ready to go under there. Uh, we can work on the engine and try and get this thing assembled for the most part. I'm probably going to need a few things. Whoop, save game. Yeah, okay, sure. Uh, there we go. That's what I wanted. The engine block ready to go. Crankshaft is in. Let's get that camshaft in there. Uh, we got a nice performance cam. Oh, yeah. We're going to make this Hemi bark. Uh, we got high performance pistons. Yep. You know it. Yeah, I'm really stoked to see how much power we can squeeze out of this, uh, this bad boy. I'm hoping it's uh, double the power. Man, I always start putting the pistons on before I put the crankshaft bearings on, and that's not really how I would do it in real life. I would lock the crank down first. And then assemble everything else. So, I don't know why I keep doing that, but I keep doing it. So, that's, that's bad. <laughs> Come on, piston rings, let's go. Usually I just slap the inner button like that. Bam! Speed that up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to try and squeeze every last ounce of power out of this thing. And, and we'll take it down the quick, we'll take it down the drag strip like we did the other, uh, challenger and try that and see if we can't crash this bad boy <laughs> well, I hope we get a you know decent amount of money for it too because I do plan on selling it and uh, seeing seeing what we can make off of it of course all right let's go ahead and flip this thing over because if it looks good and it's fast and it goes and gets good money, I'll, I'll be happy. But man, she's looking good. Then 
hemispherical pistons in there, man. That thing there got a hemi in it. Well, goddamn. I think it does. Oh, shit. We need stuff. Give me a second. All right, let's get this cam gear and cam chain on. Timing chain on. And then let's get the cover on here. Should be nice and fresh. Everything's all repainted, ready to go. Uh, water pump. Oh, we need a water pump. And I think we need a crankshaft pulley too. Oh, maybe. Nope, I have some. Yay, one thing I do have. So we need a water pump. Uh, let's drop this distributor down in there. And um, I got performance heads too, man. So we can drop them babies on there. Check these out. Check these out, man. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to fire this baby up. Oh, no. That's the wrong head. Whoopsie. Did I buy the wrong heads again? Yep. I bought the wrong heads again. You've seen this before. <laughs> Give me a second. All right. We got that heads. Um, nice performance heads here. I guess I bought the wrong one again. <laughs> Uh, we should have, we got manifold. I don't know if there's a performance manifold for that. I will check before I put the stock one on. Because if there's a performance one, I'd rather put that on. But we've got nice new headers here. Nice chrome headers. I'm going to be looking pretty sick. Oh, whoops. Wrong thing. I'm just trying to click on you. There we go. Let's get the other header on. Um... One of them was sh completely shot anyway, so I just bought two new ones. Um, get that done. But yeah, I'm curious on this manifold. I'm going to have to check that out. Let's put the floating fuel filter on. <laughs> uh, distributor. There's a high-performance distributor rotor. Also, I want to get... Um, oh yeah, we need a water pump too. I forgot. All right, we got that water pump. We're going to slap that baby on there. I had to get a couple things. I was running out of stuff to, to use. <laughs> water pump pulley's fresh. Uh, I think we got a brand new coil. I got a high performance coil. High power output, baby. Yeah. And check this out. We have a performance manifold. I'm so stoked. This thing's going to be pretty hopped up, man. I'm pretty excited for this. So hopefully we can squeeze every ounce of power out of this thing. Uh, we got a, a high performance cap, or a rotor, I'm sorry, or a rotor and cap. A cap and rotor. So yeah, she's got a lot of stuff. It's probably going to make way more power than I think it is, but I don't know, we'll see when the time comes. Uh, let's get all these push rods in. Oh, what? I, I thought... No, I know I bought push rods. What the hell? Damn it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Alright, let's get the spark plugs in then. How about that? Spark plugs going in. So I need some push rods apparently, eh? Let's get these spark plugs in on this side. And then, uh, I will get the dang push rods. <laughs> okay, there they go. Let me get some push rods, guys. Push rods going in. Brand spanking new.
back together now. I uh, hope you guys could see all that. I put performance carbs, air filter. Uh, you know, we got the alternator, the power steering pump, wires, fuel filter. I mean, this thing's pretty tricked out, man. I, if this man, this thing better make some serious power. But look at that, she's back together. The Hemi is back together. Alright, so now we can just drop that baby on in there. Let's get it in there, man, and see what it looks like. We'll hook the tranny up and... Oh, oh, I did that every single time. Alright, let's get this baby in there. Oh, my game was lagging for a second. Sorry about that. Come on, baby. Don't quit on me now. Uh, install. There it is. Look at that shit, man. Woo! Alright, let's put a battery in it. Let's put our brake booster in there. Radiator's going in. Bam. Okay, that's it up here, I think. Battery, radiator. Alright, let's raise it up. Let's get the transmission and all that stuff buttoned up and should be ready to go. Put the exhaust on. Oh, whoops. We got the good stuff for the clutch, you know. The good stuff. Yeah, whoever buys this car, man, is going to be one lucky mother trucker. Uh, we should probably put a performance transmission on this. V8 overhead valve F. We're going to do that. So let's see if let's see if they got one. V8 overhead valve F. Oops, wrong menu. V8 overhead valve F. There it is. Three thousand dollars. But it'll be worth it, you know, I mean it'll 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 put the power to the ground, you know. Uh starter, we got it. And then let's put the drive shaft in. And we're pretty much ready to paint this baby and fire it up. I think we gotta put some oil in it too, don't we? <laughs> uh, we need some pipes, I think. I don't think I have these. Uh, it should have all this though, yeah. So I gotta get some pipes. I'll double check, but yeah, we need front exhaust pipe B8 overhead valve C. Alright, let's get these pipes on here. And we're about done underneath of this bad boy. So we need wheels and tires. Oh, fuel tank. Huh, <laughs> duh. Man, fuel pump. Uh, should have a good pump. Yep. High performance fuel pump. Alright, so now, should we go with the stock wheels? Or go with some some aftermarket wheels kind of debating right now so don't be mad at me if I don't put the stock wheels on it I don't think I'm gonna be able to <laughs> oh no all right let's let's do some wheels let's figure this out all right so for the tires uh, a while back we did that challenger uh, Hellcat I still have the wheels for that thing so I think what I'm gonna do is uh, they should fit uh, so we're gonna try and mount them up and uh, see what happens uh, but I, th I think I think they'll I think they'll fit and I think they'll look all right I don't know you guys will have to let me know in the comments what you think of the tires Let's get to balancing these babies as well. Yeah, I'm kind of curious to see what these are going to look like on there. They're kind of big. I mean, I had 15s on it. These are 20-inch wheels. Uh, 
you know. So I don't know. We'll see. We will see. I think we can tuck them under there pretty good. Almost time to fire this baby up and see what she'll do. Uh, I'll probably have to buy some glass for it though. Don't know if I have any glass for it. Alright, I think that's it. That is it. So let's slap these babies on. I got two different size tires though. Um, a 40s, 40 series in the back and 35 series in the front. So we're going to go with the 40 series in the back. Forty series. Oh yeah, it's gonna look sick, guys. The Dodge, the new SRT wheels on there. Look at that. Oh man, that's pretty freaking sweet. And the white letters are tucked up under there. <laughs> yeah, that looks bitching, man. I'm, I'm digging that. That looks way better than these old crappy looking things. Alright, we got some 35 series rubber for the front. Narrow it, or spin it down a little bit. Hopefully it looks good. I don't know. We'll have to put the fenders on it and see uh, how it looks. But yeah, man, it's looking good. I'm, I'm digging that. Cool. We can set it on the ground now and uh, put all the body panels on it, paint it, and uh, we'll be ready to fire this thing up. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's uh, assemble this thing. Doors. I don't think I'm going to have the glass. Yeah, see, I need new glass for this thing. So, uh, we got to get some glass. Fenders. And I might need headlights. Maybe. Yep, headlights and glass. Okay, headlights and glass, I think that's all we're going to need. I think I fixed everything else, hopefully. Oh, headlights, glass, and probably taillights as well. Taillights, yes. So taillights. All right, I think we got everything we need to get this baby finished up here. We got the taillights, the glass, and the headlights. Oh yeah. Uh, let's get the headlights in there. I don't know what color to paint this thing, man. I'm still kind of on the fence. I don't know. Oh, whoops. I put the wrong one in. No. Assemble that. Come on, baby. There we go. All right. She is back together. So now we just... Uh, oh, you know what? I don't think I put oil in this thing. Did I put oil in this thing? I should probably check it. I don't think I did. Nope. We better put some oil in it really quick. Fill her up, man. Fresh lube. Alright, that should be enough. Okay, this baby should be ready to start. Dang, the wheels and tires turned out good. I'm, uh... I mean, not bad for just having a set of wheels laying around. All I had to do was buy tires. So, oh, I can't start it up because there's no seats in it. Damn it. All right, seats are going in. Oh, whoops. Uh, there we go. Jeez, too many clicking. 
All right, there we go. Seats, brand new. Roadrunner bench seats, and then we got a steering wheel slapping this baby. Oh man, it's coming together. What am I doing? I want to get in here. I want to see if this thing starts. All right, we're gonna fire this baby up. Damn, she fired right up too, man. Second crank, like nothing. She roared to life. Cool, man. All right, let's go. Uh, let's paint this baby and see uh, see what kind of horsepower numbers we can throw down. And then I gotta put some license plates on it, I guess, before I sell it. But other than that, it's ready to go. So I hope this wasn't too long for you guys. But I had excellent time building this car. Uh, I don't know if we should keep it kind of the same color or change it up. Let's turn the saturation up. And then we got to just kind of pick a color, I guess. I don't know. Probably go with a matte color, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Matte, matte black Roadrunner. Or maybe, I don't know. We could do, we could do some sort of an orange. Kind of keep it Roadrunner-ish. Uh, uh. Doesn't look too bad. It's more of a gold. But yeah, it's hard to say. That don't look bad. I don't even really give a shit right now because I just want to sell it. So yeah. Let me know what you guys think of that color. Uh, doesn't look terrible, I guess. Alright, let's move it to the dyno and moment of truth. How much power will the Hemi 426 lay down? I don't know, man. I don't know. So 425 was the factory horsepower. can't uh, whip that by double it, I hope. Ha! Ah, close! 765. Cool. I'm happy with that, though. That's somewhere in the, about the ballpark I was aiming for was seven to 800 horse. So that's what I like to see. I am, I'm totally, totally happy with that. Um... So I think all we got to do is uh, just put some license plates on it and we're good to go. Right, let's get these uh, plates on here and uh, be good to go. California plates, 426 Hemi, that's right, that's right, people going to know what's in this motherfucker, you know. And there we go. 426 Hemi. Alright, it's ready to be sold. So if we take a look here, everything should be 100%. Hopefully, yes, it is. 100% everything. So, uh, she's worth 92 grand in the state it's in with a restoration bonus of $18,544. So that's not bad. Should be a good little payout. Uh, so I'm gonna sell it right now. I need. I am not even gonna test drive it. I just want to sell it, and get my money out of it, and uh, continue this restoration game. But we made good power, and uh, some lucky, some lucky dude's gonna be burning rubber in this thing, doing donuts, and getting all the hot chicks. You know, man. I don't know. It's all good. I got more cars. <laughs> Well, let's sell it. Get rid of it. $111,266. I'll take it. So that was well worth it. Uh, that brought the bank account up a little bit more. A little bit more each time. So right on, everybody. I appreciate you watching this episode. I uh, hope you enjoyed this two-parter here. Uh, next, we will probably be looking at this Jeep Willys right here. So uh, stay tuned for that. 
But until then, uh, hit that like button if you liked it, and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.